we just have a quick look, Claire, at the Times, yep. which says um, children shouldn't play rugby? I know, and I am a rugby mother. My youngest, oh, yeah, my youngest is turning 20 in a couple of weeks' time. He's a great rugby player. He's wonderful. He's been playing it since he was eight. What a load of tosh. It's a form of child abuse. That's abuse. what this new study is saying. It is absolutely ridiculous. Now, it's a very physical sport, mm. right? So we've got, in this country at the moment, we've got issues with child development, child obesity, child children not knowing how to socially interact with mm. people, be active. Rugby is a great game for that, both for girls and boys. The camaraderie, the teamwork that goes on in all, in all team sports, I presume. Absolutely. I can only speak from rugby, and we're talking about rugby here, as it's made the front page of the Times. You've spent many a freezing cold freezing Sunday afternoon cold on the line. Freezing cold, <laughs> Mornings, yeah. Mornings after a Saturday night that could have been a bit heavy, yeah. turning up, oh, oh, it's the worst I've feeling. That I did it. I've I done did that it. too, but luckily my son's turned out to be no good at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I thought, phew. They're now saying that, I mean, as if we didn't know this, but the cultural perception is that striking a child outside sport is abuse. You can't slap your kids now. Um, but somehow it's socially acceptable to use it in sport. What they're telling is the well, high so impact oh, of so sport, head injuries. Anyone. You can play rugby as long as you don't tackle. Stephen, come on. Oh. It's one of the worst come causes on. of broken legs, apparently. If you go at the weekends, you go to an A&E, it's full of broken leg, legged rugby players. And that's a, that's a true use of the A&E because it was an accident and it's an emergency. Yeah. Caused by a dangerous sport, some would oh, say. Oh, No, no, I wouldn't, but I know that's what some people... They know say. what they're letting themselves in for. And I'll tell you something else. The studies have shown, and I'm, I'm surprised this has made front page, because studies have shown that if they wear their headgear, mm. it actually makes the injury worse because they feel protected, so they feel a bit braver. Oh. And the person attacking them thinks, well, they're protected, it'll be fine, and goes in for it. Oh, so that's that really nice. only to prevent mm. the cauliflower ears. Oh, yeah, yeah you know like what? Cauliflower ears. <laughs> but it's Sorry. a great sport. It really is. And Six Nations starting tonight? That's true. It's very in France the oh. v Ireland. Yeah. Stop pretending you know what you're talking about. <laughs> You've never played you only rugby know that, Andy, why? I, 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 I have not played rugby in my life. That's absolutely true. There you go.